that shot gave me the confidence that I belong where I was, you know, and that it was, you know, if you put your mind to doing whatever you want to do, you know, good things can happen, you know, so before anything else happened with Michael Jordan outside of that, that game and you know, against you guys, that shot gave me the idea that I could be better than what people think and I can, you know, surpass any expectations that I may have for myself. Who's your favorite guy to play against? Myself. If I can really elaborate on why I saved myself more so than another athlete, is it because a lot of times I had to battle with myself to keep challenging myself. You know, that to me was why I would say that the biggest battle was it was myself because when you get to a certain pinnacle, you got to find some ways to keep going out there for 82 games. My competitive drive is far greater than anyone else that I've met. You know, I think that I thrive on that. I think that's my biggest motivation in life, you know, is to 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 compete, you know, find different competitions and certain things in life and, and, and try to overcome that, you know, be it positive or negative. But uh, I have yet to meet someone who's as competitive as me, you know, and I just feel that much confident about my competitive job. There's a lot of conversations about uh, what your game is capable of achieving. And I'm a firm believer that if, if you have a good game, your game is going to say that. You, know, you don't have to say it. So... I guess just trying to play down some of the trash talking, you know, animosity that's between words and, um, and the whole promotional thing. Let your game be your promotion, your marketing tool. Uh, and that was our whole era, you know. Our game gave the labels of what our, uh, our basketball skills were. And then the marketing came back around that. Now it's changed. Uh, so I, I'm trying to revert back to where your game, to all your talking, instead of what we may say and what someone as you leave the game, what message do you want to leave to young athletes that are coming on? Be true to the game, because the game would be true to you. If you try to shortcut the game, then the game's going to shortcut you. If you put forth the effort, you know, good things will be bestowed upon you. you know, that's truly about the game, and in some ways that's about life too. One day you might look up and see me playing a game at 50. Oh, don't laugh. No, no. Never say never. Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. Thank you very much.